Hey guys, today we're going to be going over how to assemble your air racer parts. Um, this can be a little tricky. You really got to take your time and make sure um, that you're doing it correctly. Again, how well this gets assembled and how accurately it gets assembled um, will determine how well um, it ends up flying. So first thing is we're going to take our body. So I'm going to move these three pieces aside. And in the back here, we're going to fold that part, that little back square, that little back ramp, we're just going to kind of fold that down. Okay. It should end up, if you can see from this view, it should end up looking like a little bit of a ramp. Okay. So when I lay this flat, this part here, this is now a ramp. It's not perfectly flat all the way across the top. You're going to take a piece of masking tape or scotch tape you're going to kind of push this side out of the way and you're just going to look at this this square right here you're going to take your tape you're going to put it halfway on the edge of your square so i have half of it on and then i have half of it hanging over the other edge you're going to take the half that's folding over the edge and you're going to kind of roll it backwards out of the way this part is tough and you're going to bring the side flap next to it and you're going to tape those two things together okay so it should look it should look like that okay we're going to do the same exact process for this part over here that's flapping around I'm going to spin my air racer that way. I'm going to get a piece of scotch tape. I'm going to put half of it, half of it on the paper. The other half is right here hanging off the edge. Again, roll it back out of the way. Bring your side piece nice and close and you're going to get that taped up. Okay, so those two pieces are done. Next, we got to attach the two fins. Pretty simple for this part. You're going to need a piece of tape. Your fins, when you attach them to the side, so if I'm looking at it like this from the side, your fins get attached all the way down here towards the bottom. Sometimes students think that they like sit up here on the top like this. That's incorrect. Okay, they go all the way down to the bottom of your air racer. So this is correct. That is not correct. They don't sit on the top. They sit right next to the side. And you're going to tape that on there. Okay, so there's one fin. I'm going to spin this around now, and I'm going to put a little tape on the inside of my fin, just for extra support. Okay, so there's one of my fins taped on. Taped it on the outside, and I put a little piece of tape right there on the inside. You're going to do the same exact process over here on the other side. Take your fin, make sure it aligns with the bottom. Put a little piece of tape along the bottom edge, fold it up under the bottom, and put a little piece of tape on the inside for added strength. You don't want that fin to rip off. That will not be good. Okay, so there's my air racer. Um, it's got the body. Again, this is our back ramp that slopes downward, and our two fins are now attached. Next, I'm going to take my air racer and I'm going to flip it over so that I'm looking at the bottom of it. So this is the front up here where I'm pointing at. Okay, my fins are back here in the back. Last part that we got to put on is our air scoop. Okay, this part's crucially important. If you look at your air scoop, 
there is these tapered sides. Okay, if I unfold this for just a second. There's a reason that these sides are tapered or angled. Okay, there's going to be a bigger gap up here than there is down here at this end. And that's intentional. So, again, when these are folded over, you're going to take your air scoop and you're going to set it right in here on the body between your two sides. Okay. You want to make sure. Oops. Sorry, that was the bell at the high school ringing. You're going to want to make sure that the smaller or narrow edge goes towards the front of your air racer. Okay, so that should drop in just like that. And if you look up here at the front, this gap should be much narrower than the gap back here underneath your air scoop. Okay, crucially important. If you have that flip-flopped, it's not going to work out as well. Okay, so before you tape anything in place, double check. The edge up here, or the gap up here in the front should be much thinner than the gap back here behind the air scoop. Okay, so now that I have that aligned correctly, kind of going to do the same process that I did for the ramp. I'm going to lift this out of here. I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to put half of the tape on the air scoop. And I'm going to leave the other half hanging off the edge right here. I'm going to carefully roll that tape back out of the way. I'm going to set my air scoop back in. And, oops, unfold that tape. Just like that. Do the same exact process over here. Also, another thing, make sure that your air scoop is flush with the front of your car or as close as you can get it. Okay, your air scoop should not go back here in the middle of your car. It should be right up by the front edge. So I'm gonna repeat this process. I got my tape, I'm gonna put half of it on the air scoop. I'm gonna leave the other half hanging off. I'm gonna roll it back. Out of the way, stick my air scoop back down, push in the sides and let that tape unfold. Okay, so here is my air racer. Okay, I probably need a little bit more tape right there because you can see this fin's kind of starting to fall over. So I'm just going to go through this and check it, make sure everything's nice and straight and supported. If it's not, no worries, just add a little tape and make sure that it's correct okay so here's my air racer i got my two fins in the back okay if i go up to the front and i flip it over my air scoops on the bottom and if i'm looking here at the front okay this gap on the air scoop right here up in the very very front right there is narrower than the gap back here on the back side of the air scoop. Okay, so there's my fins. Under the front is my air scoop. And don't forget too, if I kinda, if I'm looking at this from the back, this part right here, this is that ramp that I was talking about. Okay, so as this is traveling through the air, once you launch it, the air is going to push into that air scoop, into the narrow opening. Once the air gets to the back of the air scoop, okay, it's going to release more air, forcing it through a narrower opening and coming out a bigger opening in the back, which is going to help create lift. And as the air travels down over the top of your car along the body, it's going to hit this ramp here in the back, and it's going to shoot down off the back edge here of your car. So... That is how you attach your car or attach all your parts to assemble your air racer. Once you're at that, this part, there is one very, very last step that you will need to go ahead and see Mr. Keenan for. The last thing that we have to do is we have to attach a paper clip up here on your air scoop so that we can hook this to the launch pad and pull it back. So Mr. Keenan will help you do this part. Um, go see him. 
and he will help you get that taped down to the front. Again, it's tough, it's tricky, it can get frustrating. Just try your best to make sure that the tape's rolled out of your way. Um, if things are loose or flapping around, don't be afraid. Go ahead and add some more extra tape or add some extra tape uh, to make it a little bit more stable. But that is how you assemble all of your parts.